Good afternoon, everyone. We joyfully welcome you to St. Mary Parish as we celebrate Mass for the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. A special welcome to those who are visiting or returning to public Mass with us for the first time. Please scan the QR codes in front of you with your smart device's camera. A link to the readings, prayers, and music will show up on your mobile, mobile devices so we can participate in the readings together. However, please make sure your devices are on silent out of respect for the liturgy. Now, we invite you to please stand and raise your voices in our opening hymn, Christ in Me Arise. Christ in me arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me arise and I shall rise with you. Hear now thy vision, open these eyes. I must see onward to the kingdom. You are the way. Arise with me, and I shall rise with you. Christ in me, arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me, arise with your power and the strength. Brothers and sisters, we offer this mass for Joseph Botash. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mass of God rest in peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Bartimaeus, a blind man, is crying out to Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. So, please join him, crying out to Jesus, Son of David, have pity on us. Have mercy on us as we call to mind our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greater sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most greater fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. the 
not so in tears shall weep rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifice for sin. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. was leaving Jericho with his disciples and sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, 
What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, God our Father, created us for himself. He wanted us to be his children forever. But we, human beings, because of our sin, we went far away from God our Father. Therefore, we became prisoners of the darkness of sin, prisoners of the darkness of death. But God, our Father, in his mercy, he didn't want us to stay like that. What he did, he came himself through our Lord Jesus Christ to set us free from sin and from death. Like he did with the people of Israel, as we heard in the first reading, the book of Jeremiah, how Jesus set free the people of Israel from slavery. And as we heard in the responsorial Psalms, how those people are singing the praise of God, our Father. God has done marvelous for us, so they are praising him. So, dear brothers and sisters, what God the Father did to the people of Israel, he did the same to us since the day of our baptism through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came to set us free from sin and from death. He gave his own life to bring us back to God, our Father, to reconcile us with God, our Father, so that we can stop being children of darkness, but living our lives as the children of God, children of the light because our God is the light of the world, and he wants us, we, his children, to also be children of the light, not children of the darkness. That is why Jesus came as the light of the world, to bring us the light we need to work as the children of God in our everyday life. And we can see that that mission of Jesus bringing light to us in the gospel today. With this man, this blind man, Bartimaeus, when he heard that Jesus was passing by, he started crying out. But what is interesting, dear brothers and sisters, this blind man, he did not ask first to Jesus to give him sight, to cure him, no. But what he's asking, what he's crying out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. So dear brothers and sisters, the blind man calling Jesus, son of David, 
This is so important. This is the messianic title of Jesus, being the son of David. It means that that blind man has faith in Jesus, has trust in Jesus as the Messiah, the one sent by God the Father to set us free from the darkness of sin, to set us free from the darkness of death. This blind man has that faith. That's why he's crying, Son of David, have pity on me. But dear brothers and sisters, in the crowd, some people want him to be silent. We need to pay attention, dear brothers and sisters, because sometimes we can be like those people who are preventing others from coming to God our Father. We have all many of those people in our society today, those who are thinking that God is nothing in our lives. Therefore, they don't want others to worship our God or to come to God. But we need to be, when we meet people like that, dear brothers and sisters, we need to persist being like this blind man. He did not stop crying out, Son of David, have pity on me. What a faith, dear brothers and sisters. And Jesus stopped by, calling him. So in the crowd, there are other people saying to him, take courage. We need, dear brothers and sisters, to be like those people who can say to others, take, take courage, God is calling you. Take courage. God needs you today. We need those people in the church today who can bring courage to others in their faith, in their life, in their trust in God. But what is interesting, dear brothers and sisters, what Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you, dear brothers and sisters? What do you want me to do for you? And this question, dear brothers and sisters, is for you and me today. Jesus is asking us, what do you want me to do for you? You are suffering. You who are doubting, you who lost hope and trust in God. Jesus is saying to you today, what do you want me to do for you? You are mourning the beloved one. Jesus is asking to you today, what do you want me to do for you, dear brothers and sisters? And when we have faith and trust in God, whatever will respond to Jesus, whatever will ask God according to his holy will, will do that for us. That's what he did for this blind man. And Jesus said to him, your faith has saved you. Dear brothers and sisters, when we have faith and trust in God, Nothing is impossible in our own life. As I always say that here, and I will say it again and again, God the Father never fails to take care of us, if not in this life, in the life to come, because we belong to him. He sent us his, belo his beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to reconcile us with him forever. We just need that faith and trust in him to follow his footsteps. We need that trust and hope so that we can enjoy the light of the Holy Spirit we received since the day of our baptism. The Holy Spirit who dwells in us is always there to guide us so that we can live as the children of the light. So, dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is asking you, 
What do you want me to do for you today? With faith and trust, try to give the answer to, Lord, to our Lord Jesus Christ. And believe me, Lord will respond for you. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the vulnerability of Bartimaeus, a blind man, and the compassionate response of Jesus to him give us confidence to pray to the Father through the same Jesus for the mission of our church, the needs of our community, and the salvation of all people. For our Holy Mother Church, under the leadership of Pope Francis, bishops, and all the clergy, May she continue through the gospel message of renewal and healing, offering hope to those whose lives are drudgery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For doctors and healthcare workers who continue the healing ministry of Jesus, may they always be assisted by the Holy Spirit and free to follow their faith in the church teachings while fulfilling their professional duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with disabilities, may they receive whatever assistance they need to fully share their gifts and talents with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in need of God's healing power, those in the prayer intentions of the weekly bulletin, and those suffered from COVID-19 and other illnesses, May they find in the healing actions of Jesus in today's gospel a reassurance that, through his word, he is close to everyone in their needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have suffered the loss of a loved one, may our relatives, friends, and parishioners who have died be given eternal life in Jesus. We remember Marguerite Garvey, whose funeral mass will be celebrated this coming Tuesday at 9 a.m. at St. Mary's. And we also remember Joseph Botash, for whom this mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer.
and for all of us gathered here to worship in faith, those who are praying with us online and those who cannot attend Mass today. May we continue to transform our Plainville Rentham Collaborative as a vibrant community of prayer, evangelization, and charitable actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Confidence in Christ, the victory over sickness and death. We come before you, O God, in prayer, seeking healing, strength, and grace that we may continue your son's mission of compassion for all people in need. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your son. And may his mother, our mother Mary, intercede for us sinners as we pray. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. As we celebrate World Mission Sunday, the second collection today is to support Catholic World Missions. Your donation will make possible the many pastoral and evangelization programs and needs of more than 1,100 mission dioceses in Africa, Asia, the Pacific Islands, and remote regions of Latin America. Thank you for helping to bring the good news to all people. And for more information on this and other spiritual and practical information, please take home a bulletin and check out our website pwc.church for updates.
Look, we pray, O oh Lord, for the offerings we made to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord.
pão, topol holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. As the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And we eat this bread and drink this cup in the name of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, celebrates the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, thus partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Sean our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Lord, we pray for Joseph, for whom this mass is being offered. Grant him everlasting life in your kingdom. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as found, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, with Saint Martha and all the saints, who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may make it to be called a sweet and alive, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, 
look not on ourselves, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us exchange with joy the song of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb.
On behalf of those joining us by video, we pray the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We will renew out our joy at your saving hand and exalt in the name of our God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them. That what we now celebrate in sign, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, I want to thank our musician. Good job. Good music. And also thanks to our altar service. They are coming back for more training. Really fun. Thank you. So thanks to our leader, thanks to our ushers, thanks to all of you who are helping us to have mass in this church. And today we are so happy to pray with Deacon, is at the back there, Deacon Tom Moses is a deacon of uh, Malachi right? So he will be ordained priest next month. So congratulations, deacon. <laughs> you will be a priest forever, according to Melchizedek. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended, go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Have a wonderful evening. And before we go out,
out, as you noticed, you have, we have a new sound system. I hope that the back there you can hear me easily now, but we still have some adjustments to make. But we are so thankful to the leadership of our pastor, Father Joe, for all the improvement he's doing in our collaborative rental and plan here. So, and also we are thankful to you, uh, our parishioners, for your help. That is what is done when we work together for God and for the people of God. Thank you. And as we are sent forth, please join in our recessional song, 10,000 Reasons. Thank you. 